This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and also comment. I appreciate every single Capricorn. So we got a new start coming in for Capricorn. I know this is really big for you because a lot of my Capricorns, not really too big on starting over. Not less, you know, they're wanting a new life or wanting a new job or maybe a new relationship. But I'm getting that we are in your season. Happy birthday to all of my Capricorns. I hope that you're blessed. I hope that everything is going how you want it to go as far as life. I'm seeing 2023 being a big thing for you as you start the year and you end the year too. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for tuning in. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius. We got be bold and make the first move. Take time to breathe out. The end to a tough cycle approaches. Someone could be dealing with another Capricorn. So I'm seeing something that just kept repeating in your life coming to an end. This could be with a Virgo for some of you. We got it's time to rather give than take. So for a lot of my Capricorns, right now we are in your season. Christmas just passed by. So I'm pretty sure you received a lot. It's time to give back to those who've given to you. I'm getting for a lot of you. This could be a Pisces. We got meditate and contemplate. So for a lot of my Capricorns, I'm getting meditation. It's also a big thing to keep your peace because I'm getting you got to do something. Whether it's have that a little sip of wine, a little drink, whatever you need to do. You got to do something. You know, see you meditate in the midst of that too. So we got some Libra energy here. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. I'm getting a lot of you are stepping outside your comfort zone and doing something that you wouldn't normally do. This could be this new start. This could be with a Taurus for some of you. We have your dreams need a practical plan. You're very close to achieving a goal. You are good enough. This could be with a Virgo for some of you. So for a lot of my Capricorns, you've been wondering if you're good enough for somebody. A lot of you are and just don't see it, but this could be a Gemini for some of you. The answers you need are coming. So some of you are wanting answers from somebody, whether this is a Virgo, whether this is a Gemini, but some of you are wanting clarity. You're wanting to be for sure that this is what somebody wants, especially for those of you in a relationship with one of those signs. Because one of the, those, both of those signs can be very distant when they want to be. Somebody can have a nine-year-old. We're in hermit mode. So even though we are in your season, I'm seeing a lot of you still remaining, still being very observant, just trying to see what's going on. Um, let's see. We got the three of cups. We got the high priestess. So I feel like this is my Capricorn, especially my Capricorn women. I feel like this is your energy right now. Somebody can have a two-year-old. I'm seeing you manifesting. I'm seeing you also be very aware of what's going on around you. You got a really important decision to make with the seven of cups. I'm seeing some of you are scared that you're going to make the wrong decision. For a lot of my Capricorns, you got a big decision to make coming up. We got the King of Cups, but I'm seeing you will make the right decision as you do have con ultimate control at the end of the day that everything that happens around you and in your life is what you allow. This is especially for my Capricorn men. I'm seeing you could be taking a journey by yourself as well. My Capricorn women, this could be my Capricorns in general right now. I'm seeing you very protective over your money. As you see, she's covering her money. She's making sure that nobody gets to that money. Could be feeling a little lonely too for some of you. Take what energy resonates and you know, leave what doesn't, of course. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in with some money. <laughs> Somebody's coming in with some money. I'm getting that. A lot of you just got excited about that. Somebody's coming in with a coin. We got love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So for a lot of my Capricorns, showing that you love yourself is what's going to make somebody love you more. Some of you could be in a honeymoon phase with somebody. You could have even took a vacation, be on a trip right now for Christmas or for the New Year's. We have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. On this trip, you are going to be having a heart-to-heart. -heart. There's going to be a real-ass conversation that's had. Some of you are being manifested by someone. It's like somebody is dreaming of their future boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, and they're literally visioning you right now. Somebody did just get married recently. Congratulations. I love this for you. You could have a wedding coming up as well. We have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So somebody is putting on a front. Just be a little aware of this. For those of you in a relationship and you feel like your partner is not really being their self, you might want to dig into that just a little bit more. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So for a lot of my Capricorns, don't put yourself in a negative mindset because of your past relationships, especially for those of you that are single. You have real love coming. It's just taking a little bit longer than usual, but it's okay. 
We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So for a lot of my Capricorns, there is somebody from the past that will be approaching you, especially during your season. They might even hit you with a happy birthday or a Merry Christmas or a Happy New Year's text. So just be a little aware of that. Thank you for tuning in.